Twitter. Anything goes. Anything goes. Aya, sawa, Kila sawa. kitu. Aya. So before we go on, I want to sample some of the comments that you have sent in. And we have um Tokapa uh in comments. Dolphin Lavito, Dolphin Lovato. Hi, Dolphin Lovato watching from Nakuru. Please play for me Tamu by Mboso. This holiday I wanna have fun with my friends and my family. Do you go my liquina play? You know, we know your request attack and blow to me. Aya. Then we have Riti Angel play for me. Washa data by Shamro. Have a blessed Easter. You in a come through. Then we have Raf Mshairi Kenya. Raf Mshairi here tuned in. Kama Kawaida. Thank you so much. We have Nifa Wilson tuned in out Rongo University. Nichezewe Radio Love. Radio Love by Nadia and Arrow Boy. Mm -hmm. Then we have this other comment up at Jew. I can't see it clearly. Raf Mshairi Kenya about the topping. Being treated right is a two-way thing. It's not like it's not like only the men should treat their women right. Evelyn should get that right. Hey, okay. Someone is Unani Pasha. Okay, all right. Aha. Uh -huh. um, then there is being treated right and not being cheated on. Someone can treat you right, but he or she is cheating cheating on you. Those are two different things. Okay. Mm, um, Msto Abraham Tofila Topila Hi Msto Abraham from Kapenguria Please play for me Amen by Ekodida Wish you happy Easter guys Thank you you too Dabi Huncho I'm tuned in from Mombasa at Kisauni And you're dropping cool and fresh beats Keep it up Na play for me Nitole by Ethic Alright Okay Edgar Handsome Warumuruti Rumuruti tuned in Thank you so much Edgar Batista Karaoke tuned in. The show is hot to na enjoy. Nabado. Nabado. Aha. Uh -huh. Then they really, I think some do. But my problem is with some chicks. This is a true story. Oh, all right. I was a hundred percent loyal, did everything right by her. Outings, fun, support, everything, but she cheated. Then she said I had loved her too much and it had become boring. Huh. Then she needed to be sad or disappointed at some point. So after after this, how can I give my all? Oh yeah. Uh things happen. Uh, then there is Mike OG zinc Zinking, yo, Zinking, in a deep place, tuned in from, uh, I don't know where you're from, but wherever you're from, thank you so much for tuning in. Achieng Odingo, tuned in from Kabianga in Kericho County, Omwami Don Akoju, keep it up. Regarding Kenyan partners, many of us are too demanding in relationships and always want to consider ourselves first than our partners, being selfish. Also, mistrust, mistrust it may increase, especially for us university students. People no longer care about other people's hearts, so many treat their partners like they want. That's another issue in Yina Tusumboa Sana. Sana Sana. Aya Alice Nyaosi tuned in all the way from Kisisho Ekonoma Kuruka. And this holiday, I want to have some fun with my family and friends. To only wish them happy Easter to them all. May the promises of Easter fill in, fill in them and renewed faith and joy be upon them. Upon them, happy Easter, happy Easter to you, and have a good one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh -huh. So right about now, I have a lady, very interesting lady, who is a poet and a motivational speaker, and we will know all about her life as a poet, a motivational speaker, and what plans she has for us. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm awesome. What about you? I'm good. Ah. Thank you so much for making time to join us. Thank you for having uh -huh. me. So kindly introduce yourself. Tell ah. us what you do, who you are. Mm. Yeah. Okay. My name is Sally, Sally mm -hmm. Wesh. I'm a poet, motivational speaker, uh, also an auditor. Mm -hmm. But I think, let me dwell on the poetry part. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing poetry for the last four years. Mm -hmm. So it's been a journey. Mm -hmm. I do it as a hobby, but I really love it. Mm -hmm. So. I'm glad to be here today. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what makes up what makes a good poet? Wow, I think uh content. Mm -hmm. I like the way my brother earlier mm -hmm. was saying about content. I think yeah. I think content is everything, especially mm -hmm. as an artist. When you have good content, your product will sell. Mm -hmm. Cuz any artist has a product. Mm -hmm. Maybe be a song, maybe be a poem, that is a product. So if it's good, yeah. So do you yourself have good content? In the first place. Yeah. 
I tend to believe what I makes do you think <laughs> that you have good content. Is it from people? Uh-huh. I'm a, deep down you believe in mm. yourself to that extent. Oh, I think uh, number one could jamini at mm-hmm. definitely. <laughs> jamini yeah. atu, sababu, if you wait for validation probably from people ineza come na ineza kosa kukuja yeah. but once you believe in yourself and you believe that whatever you're giving out is good mm-hmm. and you actually work on it mm-hmm. then your content is good for me i believe i have good content mm-hmm. um, i'm a gospel poet yeah. so i mostly talk about god and mm-hmm. spirituality yeah and this being an easter season mm-hmm. uh I believe I have something good you to deliver. You have something special for us. Definitely. Yes, she has something special for us by the way. Yeah. But we will do that towards the end. Okay. So, is poetry something that you learn or something that just comes out naturally? Wow, uh for me I'd say that it's something that you learn mm-hmm. because my journey in poetry started when I had an interest. Mm-hmm. I didn't even know that I could speak in public, let mm-hmm. alone like speaking to crowds, but I think once you know that you have that ka interest and then you nikaanza sasa kwenda kwa shows yeah. nikaenda poetry spot there's this show called poetry spot it's mm-hmm. second friday of every month yeah. that happens at all saints cathedral so i used to go there just to chill and bum and look at poets doing their thing mm-hmm. and it actually grew that interest grew in me and i actually decided you know what, i can actually do this whatever those people are doing i can do it mm-hmm. and then now going international using youtube as a platform yeah. to get more people who have content internationally yes. now so it makes you grow mm-hmm. as an artist and even be challenged because yeah. i believe challenge is very important mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. said you're a, you're a gospel poet yes i am and uh, you know like in the music industry yeah. there is a separation between gospel and secular artists Definitely. is this the same thing with in the poetry world oh uh, well um i I, me, I i have never heard him talking in biat gospel <laughs> poets yeah, yeah. Um, it's the first time yeah. wow okay <laughs> i think um secular mm-hmm. there's there's in poetry i think there's a very thin line between mm-hmm. gospel and secular because whatever some people consider secular could be just life issues you know yeah. speaking about um things that happen not necessarily now god related and mm-hmm. religion but i really can't say secular is now like all the way on the other side yeah. no because like in, the, in can, the music industry yeah mm-hmm. no i think secular can be anything you can talk about depression you can talk about self esteem yeah. i don't find them christian really mm-hmm. but they are they are life changing yeah, <laughs> yeah. they inspirational yeah they are inspirational yeah. so yeah. for for poetry it's not like secular is this other side and gospel mm-hmm. is it? no there's mm-hmm. really because i do some poems about self esteem i do some poems about being a woman mm-hmm. you know oh, so everything yeah, so everything uh-huh. but just that i have really particularly delved on god and capitalizing on god in my content mm-hmm. most of my content yeah yeah so um the poetry industry is something that people are embracing more these days yeah. so what do you think about it in Kenya and how how many platforms do you have to mm. um do your poetry yeah. and um is this something that you can earn from wow definitely it mm-hmm. is something that a poet can earn from i have uh, i have done events i do weddings i do social events graduations mm-hmm. stuff like ah. that and from that mm-hmm. you can definitely get a few notes mm-hmm. here and there about the scene the poetry scene in yeah. Kenya. I feel like it's really growing. Mm-hmm. Just the other day we had some poets from the United States. Mm-hmm. P4CM, I think they were my, they are my still are my favorite poets. We have Janetics, mm-hmm. we had uh, Chris, we had like really good yeah. Ezekiel, really mm-hmm. good poets mm-hmm. that have really cut the scene internationally. Yeah. And them coming to Kenya, it really shows that you know what they are seeing that Kenyan scene is growing so they want to be part of it and mm-hmm. I think it's something beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last week I had a guest here. Ah, we had okay. a guest here. Mm-hmm. Um he's also a poet nice. called Tiano. Ah. But he was of the opinion that mm. most of this other poets who yeah. have gotten the bigger platforms mm. they are not they are not doing justice to it mm-hmm. or maybe they are not good enough for that for that platform okay mm-hmm. so what do you think about that are you of the same opinion mm, i think everyone is entitled to their opinion mm-hmm. i wouldn't say that i agree with him or i disagree with him but i think as a poet it's up to you to make your niche yeah because sometimes you see like a poet uh, my niche may be in weddings yes yours may not be in weddings mm-hmm. yours may be in for example 
um, what is it, other events. Mine yeah. may be in churches and, mm -hmm. and gospel events. Maybe that's not your part. So I think for poets, it's important to understand your niche. Mm -hmm. Where are you best at? Mm -hmm. And then actually go there and do your best at Same that case place. with music, right? Definitely. Yeah. Just know where your strong part is and then capitalize on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So where do you perform? Um, my favorite place to perform is All Saints Cathedral. That's mm -hmm. second Fridays of every month. Mm -hmm. It's oh. called Poetry Spot. Mm -hmm. I find it such an amazing place because so many artists are even coming up and mm -hmm. it's amazing to see art grow in that way. Uh, I do weddings. I have say, as I've said earlier, I do events. Yeah, so I'm definitely, I'm not really confined to one particular place, but I have events that if, if some, someone wants me to perform at their event, I'll be definitely available. Yeah. Yeah. You said that, um, you, you're saying that you do weddings. Yes. And you said that you're an auditor. Yes. <laughs> so are you in school or are you already done with school? No, I'm done with school. Uh -huh. Yeah. So actually, how do you balance these two things? Um, wow. It's all about Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. Definitely that's yeah, you're working. Eight to five, uh -huh. yeah, you know, working and getting the bills paid and mm -hmm. everything. But then on Saturdays and Sundays, at mm -hmm. least that's enough time to yeah. get my own, like just and do what I love doing most mm -hmm. because sometimes you find that the hobby can't really pay all your bills. Mm -hmm. So you have to, you know, like find something yeah, else yeah. to give you that. But if you got, if you got um, good gigs that pay you yes. fully, you drop your hey. auditing career. Honestly, <laughs> in a <Yes>. minute, <laughs> in a minute, in a minute, okay. definitely, uh -huh. yeah. So that is what you're working towards. Definitely, that is mm -hmm. what I'm working towards, towards, and also getting more YouTube mm -hmm. content out there because I've been really trying to make more content out there because so many people have been asking, okay, so where do we find you? Yeah. So that is for me one challenge that I'm taking up very personally, mm -hmm. making my content more out there. Accessible to people. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh, just recently we did a duet uh -huh. with a storyteller. Yeah. I think he's such an amazing poet also in the Kenyan industry. He's really, hey, he is, re you should have him sometime <laughs> by the way. We will invite him. <laughs> he is really growing at a very fast rate mm -hmm. and we did a duet with him. It's called Love Affair. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about love mm -hmm. and the issues that married people go through. Yeah. And the real issues. Life. Real issues. Yeah. Yeah. So I think guys can also check it out on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. out there, Love Affair. Mm -hmm. We will yeah. be playing it in a few. Awesome. Um, so I want to ask you a question. Mm. Was Jesus born on Easter? <laughs> born on Easter? No. Mm -hmm. Why do you say no? <laughs> uh, Wow, Easter is a time of celebrating his death and resurrection. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. being born, it's definitely <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> you know, maybe yeah. someone would argue he yeah. was, okay, not born again, mm. but I don't know, it's yeah. kind of complicated. So what uh -huh. are your plans this Easter? Um, this Easter, definitely spending it with family and friends mm -hmm. and making sure that, you know, at least you spread the word of, the, the death of Christ to one or two people yeah. because defi Jesus is the reason for this season. It's mm -hmm. not just about eating and having fun, but it's about knowing why we are having fun. Mm -hmm. And I believe Jesus is the reason why we are here. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want to give you a challenge. Okay. You do just a couple of few lines okay. before you do that Easter special for us mm -hmm. so that we can see mm -hmm. if you're really good. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Wow, okay. So what uh, what piece exactly do you want to love or what exactly? Uh -huh. um, what do you think would touch our souls today? Wow, definitely an Easter, mm -hmm. Easter special. Mm -hmm. But I have quite a couple in my head. Love? Yeah, just choose for yourself. Okay. Do anything that you feel free to do. Okay. I found love. I said I found love. A love more precious than any gold or silver. So when I met him, at once I knew there was chemistry because I looked back at my history and noticed that never again had I experienced such a love. And so he didn't go unnoticed. And like a magnet, I was attracted to him because I was from the place where I lost my way, looking for identity and searching around for identification. My past had left dent so deep that not even a dentist could floss out the memories that left me dented. And then I met him. He was beautiful. Beauty that left me speechless. He taught me how to dance to sweet music. And though I did not understand the words then, I found myself so lost in his gentleness. 
He told me that he had my name tattooed at the palm of his hand and so I fell in love with this man because the love that he offered was simply indescribable. It was an intimate love, a love without any imitate or duplicate. He was my teacher because he taught me a new alphabet. Yes, he is my alpha. I can bet on it. He taught me that A was for April. And for sure, I was the apple of his eye that he would be my source of refuge and strength. And with him, I would see clearly once I took his hand and walked with him. And so he taught me A, B, C. This love, this love that is more than Cupid's arrow of love because with this man, I felt special. He called me queen, words and had from the lips of any man I had. And so he taught me that D was for disciple and E was for ego, for he is my strength and my ego. So he taught me A, B, C, D, E. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I will change. Cause you're amazing just the way you are. Sweet R&B that I had heard before. But believe me when I tell you that with this man, it was different with this man. I was ready and made up, even without any makeup. See, for some moment, I almost mistook him for Marangi because of the way he painted my world with color. A, B, C, D, E. No longer did I ask why, because he was my Z. And so the story is told of this girl who loved this man and told this man, who's the creator of the sun, moon, and stars. I am in love with this man who calls me a masterpiece, because he is my master, and I am the piece of art. And with him, I have peace of heart. And every artist knows that painting a masterpiece is a piece of heart. I am in love with this man who defied the laws of gravity and beautifies my life like graffiti. Thank you. Ah, nice. Thank you. She's good. A boom party, a boom rate out of 10. <laughs> 10 being the highest. Mm, 8.5. Uh, is the 1.5 the Did you just say who is that man? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Did this man? Sure? Jesus. Ah, okay. Jesus. Creator okay. of the sun, moon, stars. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you're Thanks. actually good. Thank really you. good. Yes. Um, so where can people find you? Um, definitely social media handles, Sally Weshpoit. That's on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Sally Weshpoit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So our topic of today, mm. we had a, um, a discussion in the yes. morning. Mm. And um, we were asking people, yeah. Do Kenyan partners mm. treat each other right? Wow, okay. I'm sure you've been in a relationship or two or three yes. or maybe four or five. <laughs> <laughs> what's your experience and what's your uh, answer? Wow, uh, I think relationships, people really enter into relationships sometimes with the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. So you end up either entering because you want something from someone mm -hmm. and the other person also enters wanting something from you. So you end up just, just having wrong priorities altogether. Mm -hmm. And in Eza end up where probably you're using someone and they are using you back. So when it all comes out in the broad daylight, it becomes something really ugly mm -hmm. at the end of the day. So I think it's a very personal choice yeah. that you decide to, for example, stay faithful to this one person that you're dating. It is important. I mean, it's the highest form of trust yeah. that you can give someone. It's like, true. just don't cheat. Hey, thank I mean, you. <laughs> thank you. You know? Yes. So, if, if you, you feel up. like. Uh, yeah, yeah, today, I have, today I have so many people backing me up. Right? But I agree. It's a matter of choice. Mikey is saying that that is a low bar to go by. Really? Yeah. Okay. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. This, they think that there are other things that should, you should look at mm. before um, maybe people cheating on you. But mm. I think when you respect someone, you will yeah. not do all those things. I mean, you won't. Yeah. You really won't cheat on someone. Yes. Yeah. And then just have, just ask yourself if this was done, mm -hmm. whatever you what you're doing, right? If your other, if your partner was doing the same thing that you're doing, will they be okay with it? You know, if they, will they be okay? Mm -hmm. So if not, why are you really doing it? So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you so much. Any future projects that you have? Definitely more YouTube mm -hmm. videos coming up. Mm -hmm. So guys, subscribe to my channel, Sally Wesh Poet. You'll get definitely more 
more content. Ah, good. Yeah. So I want to give you the platform All right. and perform your Easter special. All right. Yes. Some and stuff. touch people's hearts okay. this Easter. All right. right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, DJ Stan has an assembly touch mine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chinia Maji. <laughs> Welcome. All right. uh, up next is Sally Wesh with her Easter special. I was battered, left, right, and center. Low self-esteem, depression had me cuffed. See this law, red, I was cursed. I was almost stoned to death. I wasn't in a coma yet. I was awaiting this death sentence to be read, period. And there I was thinking, I'm about to die now. They're about to stone me any minute now in five, four, three, two. He who has no sin should cast the first stone. And there I was weeping, guilty yet stoned, speechless, hearing those words from this judge who needed no jury even though I was caught. And one by one, those who accused me left. I had to know the name of this man because I wondered who he was and where he came from. Some said his name meant savior. Some called him teacher. His name, his name is Jesus. It took a manger to birth this manager. And today we celebrate the death of this man who birthed days into existence. He is the image of the invisible God, firstborn of all creation. In him all things exist and without him was nothing made that was made. He is the Lamb of God, the captain of this ship. He's more precious than gold, how can we undermine him? My master is so right that during creation he said, let there be light and just like that, darkness moonwalked itself out of existence. But they accused him. They said he was a criminal, called him worse than a thief. But the only thing I know he stole was their hat. He took every bit of it and made it a heartbeat symphony. I wish, I wish they asked me who he was and I will tell them that this right here is a man who's a hundred percent man, a hundred percent God, but stooped down to my level to defend me. This is the reason he came to use our weaknesses to show his strength. He came to use Moses' t -t -t tamarind tongue to show he's the great I am. He came to use Noah's act to show he still reigns. He came to use Jonah's story to dispel any fishy ideas about God and his love for humanity because he is divinity at work in humanity, broken, battered and abused, come, had broken, rejected, molested, come because he came. He himself experienced pain inflicted by human hands and man-made nails he came because you are to die for he gave you license to live see the enemy comes to steal